Hi, this is Brian with DIY Outdoor Life. Today we're going to be continuing our series on the maintenance of teardrop campers and we're going to be talking about the proper torque setting on the lugs of our trailer. Now for our beginners, these fasteners here are called lug nuts. These attach the wheel to our camper. Now the reason we don't just weld a wheel onto our camper, because in addition to keeping a nice firm even seat, these fasteners have to be removed to take the wheel off for service. Now when we're referring to proper torque setting, what we're talking about is the amount of force that these lugs are fastened with. So the amount of twisting force is measured in foot pounds and that's the measurement we are looking for. If these are over tightened, you can bend the wheel or more commonly, you're not going to be able to remove these. So whether it's your mechanic and a tire change or a roadside flat, you're gonna have a lot of difficulty removing over torqued lugs. Now if that wasn't bad enough, the opposite side here is more dangerous. If these lugs are under torqued, they're going to back themselves off. See trailer tires undergo, undergo a ton of vibration. Now whether it's the type of tire, the weight of the trailer, or the suspension, these do undergo a lot more vibration than our tow vehicles. For that reason, if one of these lugs is able to back itself off, the tire's going to have more play in it and the rest are guaranteed to follow. Now to do this job properly, it only takes a couple minutes, but it does take the right tools. I have two tools for this job. I use a Tecton torque wrench. Um, I'll include the link for this in the description. It's inexpensive and allows me to do two different functions. In addition to setting the proper torque on these tires, the handle is long enough for me to use in a roadside emergency. So it's more than effective to change this tire if I get a flat. That means I can take this thing and leave it behind. So now this one comes in a neat carrying case and it stays in my camper. The next tool I need for this job is an ultra deep socket. Now we need to make sure we have the right socket. In this case, I'm using three quarter inch and that's the case with most of these teardrop campers. Um, occasionally, I do see some with 13 16 you're gonna to wanna to either check your owner's manual or take an old socket set at home and see which one fits snugly on the lug. Once you've found the right size, then you can order one like this. Now this one I get from Craftsman. Um, it's guaranteed for life and it's approved to use with an impact gun. So if I'm changing my tires at home, I can use this tool for that as well. Now next, we're gonna to have to consult our owner's manual for the proper torque setting for our camper. There'll be a page that looks something like this that comes in your owner's manual. On this trailer, we have a 90 to 120 pound threshold. So anywhere in there is considered appropriate. In my experience, for every trailer of this size on the road, 100 foot pounds of torque works fine. But please check your owner's manual to make sure. Now to adjust our torque wrench to the proper setting, we just have to twist the base until it aligns up with the number we're looking for. Today we're working with 100 foot-pounds of torque, so I'm going to twist the wrench until the bottom cuff lines up with 100 pounds. Next, I'm going to tighten the lug on the bottom, and I'm ready to go. Now to do this job, I'm just going to make a star shape here. I just depress the torque wrench onto the lug, and I'm going to pick up until I hear an audible click. Now, I like to do this with my trailer attached to the tow vehicle. If there's too much play here, we can throw off the reading. So now I'll work my way around in this star shape. And it's as simple as that. Now for some of us, it's easier to set up on this side of the trailer. That way while we're tightening, we're actually using our body weight. Either way works effectively is fine. Whatever helps you do the job. Great, now this whole process only took a few seconds. By doing this, I've ensured that each of these lugs is at a minimum of 100 foot pounds of torque. Now because I do regular service on my trailer, I know that these lugs aren't over torque. If anybody else has worked on your trailer, or this is the first time you're doing this process, it's important that we make sure they're not over torqued. To do this, it's as simple as breaking each one of these free with a lug wrench. 
and then coming back and using the torque wrench to put it at 100 foot-pounds. Now the last thing we have to talk about today is the frequency at which this should be done. If any of you have looked at your owner's manual, this can make your head spin. This particular trailer has the recommendation that it's done every 25, 50, 75, 100, and 150 miles. Now if I were to have done that with this trailer, I never would have got it home. This is a job we cannot rely on a dealership to do. So it's essential that we have this few basic steps and the two tools necessary to do this job. Well, we hope we made this easy for you today. If you appreciated this video, thank us by taking a moment to hit the like and subscribe button. If there's something I missed or if you have a further question, feel free to leave it in the comment section. We have a whole series on everything we need to know to maintain these teardrop campers. Thank you for watching. I'll see you next time.